Buccaneers, today we're going to unbox and review two board games from Rio Grande Games. If these look interesting to you, you can purchase them at our Amazon store at the link in the description. The first game that we're going to check out is Butterfly. This is for 2-5 to five players, it takes 30-45 to 45 minutes, and it's for ages 9 and up. Here's the description for Butterfly. Hudson the Hedgehog is up early this morning to pursue his favorite hobby, collecting things. The beautiful meadow is filled with fun things to discover like colorful butterflies, buzzing dragonflies, glowing lightning bugs, jittery crickets, and beautiful flowers. But watch out for those pesky bees and wasps. And this is the meadow board over here. And now we're going to open it up. So, here's the rule book. Oh, this is not really a rule book actually. I mean, it is, it's but it's only one sheet, which is good. It's a rule page. <laughs> it's good because that means that the rules should be simple. These are some other award-winning games from Rio Grande Games. Oh, Over okay. here is the board. Yep. This is the meta. Oh, there's two sides. Actually. Are they the same? No. Uh, well, one, one side you play for two or four players. And the other side is for three or five tokens. There's, ooh, meadow tokens. Oh, these are tiles. So, these are many different tiles. There's actually a hundred. They look like this. Pretty mm -hmm. cool. You know this? These are dragonflies. Oh, they're different color butterflies with different numbers. These are the game boards over here. Okay, oh, that is so there's a hedgehog thingy. Oops, that's a porcupine. And there's a bag. So since this is empty, I'm assuming we'll be putting the tiles in here. And that's all for Butterfly. The next game is Monster Baby Rescue. This is for two to five players, just like the last one, for ages nine and up, and it takes 20 to 40 minutes. Once again, this is by Rio Grande Games. Over here's the rule book. It's several pages long, not too bad. Uh, there's an overview that I'm going to read right now. Monster Baby Rescue is a family game. It is simple enough for kids to play, but it offers sophisticated strategic opportunities that will keep adult board gamers engaged. Each player starts the game with a sad, scared baby monster. Players take turns choosing tiles representing different ways of caring for their family. Taking a tile costs a variable amount of time, and players must weigh the benefits of the tile against the amount of time it will cost. As the monsters get more care, they become healthier and happier, and at the end of the game, the winner is the player whose monster has received the best care. What's that? Oh, this is for the simplified game. And here's instructions how you put everything back. So it's kind of nice how they have a simplified game because the regular game is for ages nine and up. But if you have someone younger, probably a bit younger than brother, you could do the simplified rules. And then there's tiles here. Ooh, look at this dragon. Oh, I see. So one okay. side is an unhealthy dragon because see, it's all dirty and stuff. And this is a happy dragon. There, I guess, are game boards. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, what is this one? Oh, and look at the back, there's skulls. Different colored gems. Ooh, more monsters. More, I really like these monsters. More board thingies, I guess. Yeah, those are board. Oh, more, more monsters. Oh, and the moving track. Oh yeah, this is probably a moving track. And then look on the back. This is also a trap. Hard and hard. Oh, here, gems. That's what the Oh, gems there's a bag are. of gems. That's nice. There's red gems and green gems. And lastly, ooh, monster stamps. We'll be playing the two games, Butterfly and Monster Baby Rescue, and we'll come back with our final thoughts. And we're back. The first game we're going to talk about is Butterfly. The goal of this game is to accumulate the most valuable collection of insects, and whoever has the highest score at the end of the game is the winner. During your turn, you can choose to move the hedgehog left, right, or keep it in its current direction, 
and then you move the hedgehog as far along the line as you want, and you pick up the tile that it lands on. The game ends when a player cannot make a legal move, and at that point we score the tiles. So here are some examples of tile scoring. The most basic one is the butterfly picture, so there's four different colors, and it's just whatever the printed value is, that's the number of points you get. Okay, uh, over here is the dragonfly with an up arrow, and for that one, you score whatever number is the highest. So if you have a tile that says two and a tile that says seven, you only score the seven. Now this firefly is similar to the dragonfly, except that you score the lowest number. So if you have a number nine, then of course you don't want to get a number two firefly because that will lower your score by seven. And our last example is the wasp, which scores the printed value, but it's always going to be negative. So this is not a tile you want to land on. However, during the game, players can try to manipulate you to force you to take bad tiles, such as the wasp. You can read about all the other tiles in the rule book. My favorite part of the game is making hedgehog sounds to determine who's first. And brother always wins because this is the sound he makes. Even though I think it's quack quack moo cluck cluck oink. <laughs> My favorite part of the game is that there's a variety of ways you can score points. See, there's so many tiles, which means that you can come up with many different strategies for winning the game. And that's Butterfly. Now it's time to talk about Monster Baby Rescue. The objective of the game is to be the player that takes the best care of their baby monster. And we're going to show you a couple of them. So first we have Severus. This is a three-headed dog. And this is my favorite because all the dog cats are very cute. And my favorite is the basilisk because it reminds me of that water walking basilisk lizard that lives in the Amazon. It just looks like a dragon to me. Well, it's the front. During your turn, you choose a care tile by the board and you move the number of spaces equal to the cost. After paying the cost, you resolve the tile's effect, which can either upgrade the monster or improve its living condition. The next player's turn is determined by whoever is the farthest behind on the time track. And we've seen this game mechanism before in games like Thebes and Patchwork. The game ends when the last tile in the deck is dealt and then we move on to the scoring. You score points by counting the number of hearts on the tiles you have collected, as well as the goals you have achieved throughout the game and whoever has the most points is the winner. My favorite part of the game is upgrading the monsters. And in fact, your monster starts out with nothing, like no jewelry or anything, and very filthy. And as you keep upgrading it, it can become very nice. And that brings us to my favorite part of the game, which is the artwork. As you can see, these are what the monsters look like, and I think they're very cool. My favorite monster is Severus, which is what I am every time we play. Another thing that's cool about this game is just like in Butterfly, there are many ways that you can score, earn points, and strategize. And if these two games sound cool to you, you can purchase them at the link in the description. Bye!